please randeep sir you can start in 15 seconds you please go ahead and then chidambaram ji will begin you must say go ahead that you are ready to go live after i read my first sentence if there is any problem let me know randeep uh, no no problem sir we'll start recording we basically we are already recording i matter of i think we are set to go sir you can start now you can start sir thank you sir my friends in the media good evening to all of you i hope you're all well and safe i have an opening statement to read and then i will take a few questions randeep will also be present at the press last evening the prime minister announced an economic stimulus package to restart the stalled economy and stated that its size will be rupees 20 lakh crore as expected and as perhaps it was intended by the government it grabbed the headline the page however was blank we were promised that the details of the fiscal stimulus package would be announced by the finance minister over the next few days beginning today it is therefore with great expectations that i listened to the finance minister at 4 pm today what did the finance minister tell us one the page that there will be a collateral free loan program to 45 lakh msmes backed by a credit guarantee fund of rupees 3 lakh crore and some other measures including rupees 20000 crore subordinate debt and rupees 10000 crore equity fund two so the government will extend rupees 2500 crore liquidity support to epf contributions three so the government will give credit guarantee for nbfcs investing in debt instruments of msmes housing finance corporations and mfis for rupees 30000 crore four that the liquidity will be provided to generating companies in discounts five the time will be extended by 6 months for government contracts six that the tds rate will be reduced up to 31st march 2021 this involves rupees 50000 crore and tax refunds to all will be expedited these are liquidity related and regulatory measures i wish to keep my opening comments brief and focused let me first point out that there is nothing absolutely nothing in what the finance minister said today for the lacks of poor hungry and devastated migrant workers who have walked and many thousands are still walking back to their home states this is a cruel blow dealt to those who toil every day there is also nothing absolutely nothing by way of cash transfer to the bottom half of the population 13 crore families who have been pushed into destitution only yesterday professor thomas piketty pleaded for cash transfers to the poor the finance minister announced some support measures for msmes although my comment is the measures were skewed in favor of the larger msmes about 45 lakh msmes i think the bulk of the 6.3 crore msmes were left high and dry we welcome the offer of subordinate debt rupees 20000 crore and equity corpus fund just a moment oh just a moment just a moment i put up now yeah we welcome the offer of subordinate debt rupees 20000 crore an equity corpus fund of rupees 10000 crore but we will await the terms and conditions the devil is in the detail on the credit guarantee fund it is not the entire fund that would be actually spent 
the expenditure will be limited to the extent of NPAs and the outstanding guaranteed credit to MSMEs. Assuming an NPA level of 20 to 50%, the actual expenditure over the period of the loans, which may be years, will be a maximum of rupees 3 lakh crore. We will also count the rupees 30,000 crore credit guarantee to NBFCs. We will therefore include rupees 3 lakh 60,000 crore in the rupee 20 lakh crore package. I refrain from commenting on liquidity related measures. Such measures do not amount to fiscal measures of support and nowhere in the world are they included or counted in a fiscal stimulus package. Where is the rest of the rupee 16.4 lakh crore? The government is a prisoner of its own ignorance and fears. The government must spend more, but it is not willing to do so. The government must borrow more, but it is not willing to do so. The government must allow states to borrow more and spend more, but it is not willing to do so. Except for the modest MSME package, we are disappointed with today's announcements.